We're blonde today, people. I feel like I look weird. Like, it just doesn't look... It's the wrong kind of blonde. But I really miss having a wig that's a little bit of a lighter color. I don't know what to dye this one yet, so we're just leaving it blonde for now. I'm thinking about dyeing it blue, like my old one was, because I miss it. It's like my favorite color, especially for summer. But anyway, I'm really far behind. So I'm just now getting to episode 8 of Chelsea's Murder Mystery. Deja vu. Back with the other islanders, you all make a surprising discovery. Um, hey. So earlier, Josa got locked in her room, and then she got out. Yay! And then when she heroically escaped, she saw Rocco and Chelsea. Um, I mean Rocco and me. Kissing. Obviously, that's not how I wanted my most favorite bra ever in the whole Milky Way to find out about it. Hopefully, me and Josa can talk things through. There are friends, and there is family. And then there are friends that become family. I know we'll work this out. Fingers, toes, and eyes crossed anyway. A cool evening breeze tickles the hairs on the back of your neck. Chelsea and Rocco were just kissing. Uh, do you two need to get a room? There's an empty isolated room just up in the attic, you know. <laughs> I was just locked in there. <laughs> she said it, the one I was just locked in. Chelsea frowns and bites her lip anxiously. Rocco squeezes her hand. I'm so sorry, babe. Chelsea, you don't need to apologize. But I do. Josa is my best friend, and I haven't had a chance to tell her about us. It was gonna come out one way or another, but not like this. Rocco smiles at you and then looks wistfully up at the sky. He clears his throat. <clears throat> like two stars that freckle the night. Oh, here comes the poem. Like two green peas packed in a pod so tight. Like strawberries with a dollop of cream. Rocco's reciting a poem about Chelsea. Um, this poem is making me want to scream. Help me please. Like a perfectly coordinated color scheme. I think she gets the picture, babe. She sighs and rests her face in her palms. I'm just so sorry you had to find out this way, Josa. I really was gonna tell you. I just didn't know what to say or like if I should say something at the party. I'm honestly trying to think of the best way to apologize, like a hamper or something. A hamper? W what? And yeah, the party probably would have been the best way because then you could just get everyone knowing at the same time out of the way. But then there are people that would probably be butthurt to not know first if they are best friends, so... Never mind. I don't know either. <laughs> I think the best stories come from the heart. Chelsea clutches her chest. I really am, from the bottom of my heart. So damn sorry. Chelsea said she's so damn sorry. Um, I'm gonna tell her don't worry about it. Like, I guess he is a snake because of what he did in the beginning of Love Island. He was just kind of flirting with all the girls, um, being a player. But I don't know, people gonna do what they wanna do, so don't worry about it. It's fine. Honestly, girl, breathe. Chelsea breathes out a big sigh. Rocco does the same. You're my bra. I will always support you. You can tell me anything whenever you feel right to do so. Although I guessed it already, so didn't matter. Her eyes twinkle under the moonlight. I literally can't tell you how much it means to hear that. We've not been seeing each other for long, it's still pretty fresh. But I can honestly say I've never been happier. Me neither, this girl is one in a million. Chelsea and Rocco are really happy together. Go on babes, tell me all about it. Chelsea beams with delight. I totally judged him having watched what he was like in the villa before I came, but one of my life mottos is that most people deserve a chance to clean up their mistakes. Because there is no use in crying over spilt milk. So I gave him a chance. Rocco drapes an arm over Chelsea's shoulder. And she slid into my DMs. Chelsea slid into Rocco's DMs. I can't, well, hmm. I better be a bridesmaid. I don't know what to say, cause it's okay for her to have made the first move and no, it's not shoes, so I really mean it. If I'm not your bridesmaid, then chaos will strike. You grin at Chelsea, she claps her hands excitedly. Yes, of course, 100%. You will be my bridesmaid. And you can be my best woman. Um, both at the same time? What was it about each other that caught your eye? Chelsea grins. I love his outlook on life. And that truck he has is like totally social worthy. It was the truck that did it, I tell you. I can't wait to go on like all the road trips in it. What's mine is yours, babe. What about you, Rocco? What made you fall for Chelsea? Her humor. When I rewatched the show, she honestly made me laugh so much. And she's obviously a stunner. You're gonna make me all blushy and warm and fuzzy inside. These two. <laughs> are really very cheesy. <laughs> but maybe that means they're perfect together. I don't know if they're perfect, but let's say cheesy. You sniff loudly. I'm getting a hint of Cheddar and Wensleydale. 
Oh, I was setting up a cheese board earlier. Chelsea sniffs her hands. I do love me some good cheese. There's a moment of quiet. The moon shines brightly above you all. Chelsea reaches over and gently squeezes your shoulder. No one else knows, Josa. You were always going to be the first person I told. That's why I didn't want to announce it at the party. And why I didn't, like, actually invite him. Mm-hmm. I wanted you to know first, and I thought you'd, like, sense it as soon as you saw us, too. Yep, I did. <laughs> I also didn't want to make this party all about me. Which is why I'd rather we just keep it between us three for now. It might seem like I like attention, but really, I don't. I get that. But just so you know, I'd never let a boy, like, distract me from our friendship. You're totally the main character in my life. This is such a weird conversation. I don't want to be having it. I also find it weird that they set up Chelsea as the person, the main character's best friend. Because I never felt like she was. Sadly. <laughs> you guys let me know which character you felt like you would have been closest to in the season two villa. For me, it probably would have been Priya. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I think it might just be because I'm closer to her age and I felt like I'm a lot like her, or I could have been, you know? Anyway, Rocco smiles. Yay to friends. Suddenly you remember what just happened in the escape room. Oh, hang on. Sorry to do a full 180 on the subject of you two, which is obviously very important, but we have to address the matter of me being locked up in an escape room by you. Chelsea puts her hands on her hips. Oh, yes, my escape room eleganza. You were gone for so long, what were you doing in there? I was chatting on the phone to Hope for some of it. You were watching me. You know what I was doing. Oh, yay, how is she? All good, she sends her love. Good, I'm glad I put the phone in. I was worried you might get lonely in there. Then why didn't you send someone in with me? She picks up her notebook and fluffy pen from the grass below her feet and makes a note. Wait, you actually built an escape room, Chels? You betcha. So, the all-important question, did you enjoy it? Uh-huh. Honest feedback only. I'm your bra. I can take a knocker. Did I enjoy the escape room? Um, I'm... I... This is... These answers suck. Because it would have been fine had I not been alone. But... I'm just gonna say no, it wasn't my thing. She nods her head and writes something down in her notebook. Perfect. What? <laughs> That's great to know. Thanks for your feedback. I didn't give any feedback. I just said no, nah, I didn't like it. What did you write down? Oh god, okay. What's everyone else been doing since I've been out? Apart from you two lovebirds, both Chelsea and Rocco's cheeks flush pink. Most people are chilling in the dining room. Yeah. Chelsea drops into a southern accent. You have not missed anything on the mystery, darling. I told everyone they weren't to discuss it in your absence. I'll go in and check on the others. Give you two some privacy. She winks at you. Love you, babe. See you in a bit. Your footsteps echo as you walk into the empty dining room. Hello? The light flickers for a second. Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. I'm about to die. Then suddenly the room is flooded in darkness as the electricity cuts out. Power cut? Oh, there you are. We've been wondering where you'd gone. Power cuts. So, where have you been then? Out covering your tracks? Nope. I got locked in an escape room. So, I've been escaping from that. Marisol laughs, biting her lip. You're such a joker, Roberta. That's what Bobby said. It's honestly true. Chelsea built one in the attic. The door is in the bedroom. Marisol laughs even harder. That actually might be the best worst excuse I've ever heard. You really aren't a smooth criminal. Just admit it. You're guilty, right? Marisol bites her lip and looks you up and down. Marisol really thinks I'm guilty. I could try and convince her I'm not. Might be a good way to gain an ally. You look around the room. We are all alone. I could use this as a chance to flirt with her. What does flirting with her have to do with convincing her that we are not guilty? No. I don't like that. <laughs> what should I do? No. I am a happily married woman. Love me some Bobby. We're both maids right now. <laughs> so no, I'm gonna go and find the others. I don't need to bother. If Marisol thinks it's me, then there's nothing I can do to change it. That also has nothing to do with flirting with her. That is weird writing. Am I wrong? Lost in thought? Cat got your tongue? It might be worth a shot to put her in her place. Why do I need to flirt with her to convince her I'm not guilty? Someone, if you've picked this choice, is it is it all just flirting with her? Or do you actually have a conversation with her about being not guilty? Because that's weird. That's weird. <sighs> Go and find the others, okay? <laughs> nah, I'd rather not. <laughs> have you seen Chels? I need to ask her something about dietary requirements in the dessert. Marisol wants to know where Chelsea is. Hmm, <laughs> she's outside kissing Rocco. No, uh, 
She's just upstairs cleaning? I don't want to... Yeah. That girl never stops. Marisol walks off upstairs. You go to the drawing room to find the others. Ooh, this room is... Oh, it's dark. That, I thought it was different, but it's the same room. Yay, Josa, you've returned. Bobby runs over to you excitedly. I was starting to get worried that the murderer had struck again and you were like waiting for me to bring you back from the dead. Aw, I'm glad to be back. We had to light some candles. Power's gone. The others turn to you, their glance suspicious. The candles illuminate their faces. What's up with them? They think you ran off to plan another murder. Bobby laughs. That's not a sentence I thought I'd say at a party. The others think I was off planning a murder. No, I really was stuck in an escape room. I know it's hard to believe, but it really is true. You take out the note you found in the escape room. I got this note. This is proof. I found it in the escape room. Sorry, backtrack a little bit there? Escape room? I love escape rooms. There's an escape room in here? Yeah, that's where I was trapped. Chelsea really has thought of everything. What does this note say then, Roberta? The others crowd around you, eager to read it. What's that? It's the note that Joseph found in the escape room. I bet there's a good clue on it. Priya pinches the note. Stop poking around or you'll be lunch meat. That means killed. Huh. Interesting. Lunch meat? Like the one in the sandwich? That's it. I'm not eating for the rest of the evening. Uh, Bobby, you're already dead, sir. <laughs> what has this world come to? It must mean we're getting close, Josa. The murderer is feeling threatened. Or they just have a craving to kill again. Ugh, don't kill the vibe. A strong breeze rushes through the window and snuffs out the candles. The room is almost pitch black. Um, is anyone else feeling like kind of terrified right now or what? Yeah, mate. This vibe is... A loud scream interrupts Gary. Everyone jumps at the shock. DEAD! That's not a vibe. No! That was Marisol shouting. Everyone dashes over to the sound of Marisol's cries. You all rush back into the dining room. It's still dark. Rocco and Chelsea are standing by Marisol. She's lying on the floor. They both look stunned. I'm down. I've been taken down. Damn it. Sammy Kickback has been kicked down. Marisol is dead. What a cruel world. <laughs> Alas, poor Marisol. I knew her well. Bobby does a little fist pump. Yay! I'm not the only dead person anymore. This calls for celebrations. Bobby goes to high five Marisol. She does not high five back. Rejected by the dead. Wow, that's a whole new low for me. What actually happened? Your guess is as good as mine. Someone drew their finger across my throat when the lights went out. I just kind of assumed that meant I'd been murdered. Ooh, okay. We got the clue. Sammy's death. Someone drew their finger across Marisol's throat in the dark. That would have been terrifying, but unless I got a note, I wouldn't know for sure that that's what was happening. I would have had to have asked Chelsea. Be like, hey, did you write that in? Is that how it works? <laughs> Pretty safe bet. Everyone looks at Chelsea and Rocco. It wasn't us. We were just outside, um, tending to the tulips that Ibrahim's horse ate. Can they eat tulips? Is that okay? Ibrahim cringes. Chelsea glances at you. No, it's all right, Rocco. We can tell the truth. Are you sure, babe? She smiles and nods at Rocco. My best bra, Josa, knows now, so it's time we told the rest of you. We were out in the garden, kissing, because me and Rocco are, like, a thing. So that's where we were until we found Marisol. OMG. You two are a thing? Wow. Aw, you two. That's, like, actually adorable. I really shipped this. Chelsea told others about her and Rocco. Aw, oh, I'm so happy for them. You two really do make such a cute couple. Marisol sits up on the floor and coughs loudly. Look, I don't want to steal your thunder, Chels. I'm super happy for you both, but I'm dead and my killer is amongst us. Chelsea claps her hands. Yes, sorry, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Back to the mystery for now, you can ask me and Rocco all the questions you want later on. So if it wasn't us, who did you last see before you died, Marisol? Me. I saw Roberta in the hall. Ibrahim gasps. Gary looks confused. Who's Roberta? Everyone else looks at you. Marisol points accusingly. Oh. Oh. Hang on, does that mean... Josa was the last person I saw. Before my lights went off. Great, I'm back to square one of being number one suspect. You look at Chelsea desperately. She smiles. Ha, <laughs> I'm as lost as you are, babe. Just so you all know, like, I didn't plan this. She points at Marisol. Wait, what? Chelsea taps her notebook, the fluff from the pen dancing in the air. The culprit is going off the book. After all your careful planning, Chels, that's not very fair. I would be pissed too, honestly. You trying to confuse the party here? It's a party. It's not for you. Do what your sheets say. <laughs> I'd be mad. 
I would I would have done exactly what Chelsea's doing and told people, hey, ignore it, Marisol's not dead, because that's not the plan. Okay? None of this is new information. Chelsea taps her head with her fluffy pen. Ah, uh, no, rule number one of a good improv is to never block what naturally occurs. No, block it. Block it! Because <laughs> what if it's a different person from the original murderer and then everyone just decides they want to be a murderer? Like, that's no fun, you know? You know, I don't know, whatever. <sighs> if the murderer felt that Marisol had to go, then I'm sorry, but Marisol, you have to go. No, because it could be someone else. There could be two murderers. Insert dramatic scream. Marisol slumps to the floor dramatically. Josa, Bobby glances at you sadly. Was it really you? Have you been the murderer this whole time? Bobby looks hurt. Um. Why are they mixing our characters with our, like, actual people? I'm Roberta, an artist who has nothing to do with Wilma the maid. Wilma would not be upset at Roberta. If Josa had fake killed Bobby, then yes, I get it, because they're married. This is so weird. <laughs> I can't believe it. Bobby, I didn't... Bobby juts out his bottom lip. It's always the ones you love the most that betray you. Ugh, I'm getting really sick of everyone accusing me. Think, Josa, you can solve this. Rocco found that sandwich bag in the kitchen. It was dated three days ago, which is when Noah left his wife. We know that. Whatever motivated the murder must have happened before then. At least I can cross Sammy off of my suspects list. So before the three days when he was divorcing his wife, he was trying to figure out how he could get uh, his father's inheritance, right? Oh, I just realized I was I was like thinking of this wrong. It's not Rex that needs the money. It's the other guy that Lucas is playing, right? He's the one with the money. I don't know. I'm getting all, all kinds of confused now. Just ignore me. I still think it's Priya though. <laughs> okay, I wonder what the killer was thinking going after her. Maybe Sammy was killed because... I think it's a mixture of those first two. She was snooping around too much and working with Wilma. She was working with Wilma, um, right? But also maybe she knew too much from her snooping. So, I don't know, snooping around too much? She's a private investigator after all. Maybe she got close to solving the case. Marisol catches you looking at her. What, eyeing up your handiwork? I didn't kill you, Marisol. She just narrows her eyes. You glance at Bobby. He tips his head backwards, beckoning you over. Bobby? Bobby looks around and lowers his voice. I have some sage advice for you. Huh? Whenever I'm struggling to piece together a recipe, I always take a walk around the kitchen. Okay. We did that though, didn't we? We already looked around the kitchen? I wait for inspiration to strike me, like a flowery lightning bolt. That's how I've come up with my best work. Maybe you should go give that a try, babe. Go back to basics where you first found me. He winks conspicuously in the kitchen. My true habitat. Because right now, you're leaving certain eggs uncracked. What? And you owe it to me to crack this case or I'll always think you're my murderer. And I don't think that's healthy for a relationship, do you? Good thing that Wilma and Roberta are not in a relationship. What is this nonsense? This hurts me. We are terrible actors if we cannot separate ourselves from the characters. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have an attitude today. I think I'm tired. <laughs> okay, Bobby's helped me with the case. Uh, you know what? With all my, my complaining about not being our characters properly, I'm gonna respond as Roberta. Thanks for helping me paint the full picture, kid. <laughs> Go get him, chef. Chef? Ugh, okay. You give him a mock salute. Wouldn't hurt to have another look at the crime scene. I'm already in pretty deep water. I have to find a way to clear my name. Before it's too late. Sounds like the mystery plot is getting nice and thick. Eh? <laughs> Phew, exciting stuff. For real though, I can't tell you what a relief it is to have that all off my chest. Me and Rocco can finally make our online couple's mood board public. Yay! I've got one dedicated to all the road trips we're going to go on in his van. Not all those who wander are lost. Some of us know exactly where we're going. Obviously, Joseph can come along if she likes. No, thank you. No. It's a very spacious vehicle. Anyway, back to the mystery. Everyone's starting to crack a little bit. 
And what about a cucumber? Ever tried that? No, and I don't want to. And if you put a lemon in it, it just tastes like lemon. You might as well have a vodka lemonade. But maybe this will help Joseph crack the case. Oh my god, is there only two more? Oh wow. That's it. There's only one more, one more, uh, day, whatever, two more parts. Wow. All right, sorry if I was all over the place today's episode. I was forgetting who was who with the characters, but I don't know why. I think it's Priya. It's just stuck in my head. I could be super, super wrong. Hopefully we get some cool clues in the kitchen again. I feel like that would be silly because we were already looking around there with Rocco. Like, I don't know. I guess we're also going to get dessert at the same time. So anyway, hope you guys are enjoying. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.